now from South Seminole Academy in Castleberry, Florida. Direct from the third floor of building number three, this is South Seminole News. Good afternoon, Hurricanes. Happy Tuesday. I'm Lola. And I'm Michaela. It's October 22nd, 2019. Welcome to South Seminole News. Let's check in with Chloe for the Daily Report. Hello, Chloe. Good morning, guys. Today's weather looks a little cloudy in the afternoon, but we have a partly cloudy skies and a high of 91 degrees. Today's lunch special is a, is a chicken or beef burrito bowl with toppings, and tomorrow will be boneless wings, mashed potatoes with gravy and a dinner roll. Remember to check us out all year for weather updates and lunch specials. The South Seminole Math Tutoring Schedule is out, and we have many different options for students before and after school, Monday through Friday. To, Look for the schedule every day here on the news. Plus, we have it posted outside the newsroom here at 312C. Also, you can find it above the water fountains in the display cases around the school. That's today's Daily Report. I'm Chloe. Now back to you guys. Thanks, Chloe. JV and varsity boys volleyball teams lost, lost some very close matches last week. The season is coming to an end tomorrow when the girls play at home against Tuscaloosa Middle. We hope to see you there. Good luck to all the teams in the final week. Look for the look for the games on our YouTube page at Staff Seminole News. Any students that wish to learn more and explore the magnet program for the next year, the high school Next school year, the High School Choice Expo information slip can be found on our door outside the newsroom. Over the next few weeks, different schools will have an expo to show you what they, will, what they have to offer. Visit us, visit us at room 312C for more information. The Latinos in Action team is taking the lead and wants to help the Reed family in the Bahamas. If you'd like to purchase a bracelet, please visit room 231. The braided bracelets are $3 and the natural wood bracelets are 7 All items are made by hand from the students and they will be done. They will, they will donate money. They will donate all the money earned to the family. Thank you to the Latinos in Action team for, the, for hard work. Attention students, do you enjoy art, music, and dance, or have an interest in writing, producing films, and taking photos? Then join us and have fun unleashing your inner artists with PTA Reflections. This year's theme is Look Within, calls for your own unique interpretation. Through the arts, pick up submission guidelines and an, L and an entry form today for your ELA teacher and return by October 29th. For inspiration, visit the Reflections Virtual Art Gallery and learn more about prizes and scholarships at pta.org slash reflection slash awards. Any students that placed orders with this year's fundraiser, your order should, be a, should arrive on November 1st. See Ms. Mafus for any questions about your order. We are going to take a commercial break. During this break, we will look at a special clip of Ms. Wizwazali's Wizwazali in her classroom, and we and when we come back, we will tell you about this year's trunk retreat in Castleberry. We'll be right back after this. Hi, my name is Alyssa, and my name is Maggie, and today we are telling you guys about Help the Bahamas. South Seminole Academy is coming together to donate items to the Bahamas after a tragic experience with Hurricane Dorian. In your first period classes, there will be boxes for you to put the items in. The items consist of water, canned foods, clothes of all sizes, blankets, first aid supplies, batteries, and any light source like flashlights. We will be collecting items till the end of the month and then we'll be sending them off to the Bahamas. Also, keep posted for the GoFundMe page if you would like to make a monetary donation. South Seminole Academy is trying to make a big contribution to the Bahamas, and we will appreciate all support. All this information will be on our Instagram page, so you can always look back. We thank you guys for your time and hope that you can help the Bahamas. Hi, sorry to interrupt class. I'm Stephanie Huff, the PTSA president here at South Seminole, and we are here to present our inaugural Teacher of the Month, 
to Miss Liz Lozali. So make sure you treat her like the celebrity she is. Thank you. Guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oh wait, I've got a gift in my hand and everything. <laughs> I've got a good teacher. There you go. Right? Seminole Academy now uses a school-wide identification badge system for our students. Students must wear their photo ID badge at all times while on campus. This has been added as an additional safety measure for our students and staff. It is a quick way for staff to identify individuals on our campus. We are working with our Red Apple Cafe to implement a system for students to use the ID badge to purchase food items, which provides an additional security measure for student accounts. This will also help expedite transactions, giving students more time to enjoy their lunch. Students will be required to present their ID badge for admission into any extracurricular campus activities, such as dances and sporting events. ID badges are considered part of the school uniform. Therefore, not wearing the ID badge will result in discipline consequences. Thank you, and don't forget to storm. <laughs> South Seminole Academy now uses a school-wide identification Welcome badge back. system Welcome back. Attention our students. students, mark your calendar for December 2nd through the 6th. SSA will have their first holiday shop in Leadership Hall. Students will be able to purchase items for family and friends as they celebrate the holiday season. Items will be priced between ten $1 and $10.00. We will have more information as the dates get closer to us. A special announcement from Officer Boza. Any students interested in signing up for the SSA Student Police Academy, please visit his room in please visit his room twenty in room twenty seven or visit the front office. Students who will participate in the police academy have an, have the opportunity to learn about police equipment vehicles online safety, K through nine units, and fingerprinting, S stop by and sign up today. On October 26th, the city of Castle Bay will have their Halloween Spooktoberfest at 5 p.m. We hope to see you there in your costumes. The event will take place behind City Hall at Lake Connor Concord Park from 5 to 8 p.m. There, there will be fun activities there will be fun family activities, a dance party costume contest, and of course, trick-or-treating. A reminder that on Win Win Wednesday, the PBS store will be open during lunch. You may fill out a withdrawal slip to purchase items from the PBS store. Students, ask your teachers about storm bucks and, storm bucks and how you may, how you may acquire them throughout the school year. And remember to deposit those storm bucks into your banking account before coming to lunch on Wednesdays. That's all for today. Make sure to check us out on Instagram and YouTube at South Seminole News and don't forget to subscribe. Also, please like the South Seminole Academy and PTSA Facebook pages for more info. And students, every day here at South Seminole Academy, we strive for success, take responsibility, opt to lead, respect others, and make good choices. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Michaela. And I'm Lola. Have a great Tuesday, and don't, don't forget, forget to, to storm! storm.